and happy new week for all today i'm sharing another layout with september hip kits and today i'm doing a really special layout because it's it's from the special situation from last early september when i visited norway egersund little town in north norway uh, teaching some workshops and it was so amazing town and so amazing people in it and it was amazing weekend so i'm starting to lay out with white cast white cardstock and clear gesso um, i want to add quite thick layer of clear gesso for this layout because i want to have some kind of uh, easy and really light texture on the background so clear gesso will do the trick after the gesso is completely dry i'm using this shimmers paint from our september color kit um, i'm mixing it with water to make it more liquid and then just flicking it with the brush uh, this is one of my favorite techniques and um, kind of how to say it it, it, it's one of my favorite because it's so free and arty. You can do it to anywhere or however you want to do it. Just flicking, flicking, flicking and adding lots of drops and mixing colors and whatever you wish. But this uh, paint today, which I'm using, is really, really shiny and it has lots of shades because of the sheen inside. So that's why I'm using only this paint. I often use a lot of uh, same same blues or, or uh, I mean different blues in one layout um, and uh, like really good colors together like uh, blue and green or or yellow and orange or something like that. But today I'm sticking with this one paint because it really makes the effect even though it's only one paint. And the water will will also lighten some parts and then some parts are only the paint so it really has this darker darker and lighter areas. And once the paint is totally dry, I'm using our Air Echo Park stencil from the same color kit. Uh, it has this really really small pattern of leaves. So you can barely see it on the background but it's there and it will give some dimension and patterns on the background anyway and once that layer is <laughs> uh, dry i see i'm using a lot of layers today but that happens once in a while uh, once the whole background is completely dry i have made some some kind of paper cluster during the drying time and now i'm adding a small amount of thread to make even more uh, texture on the background and now i'm just adding the paper cluster with one millimeter thick uh, 3d foam so it's really really not that thick but it's something and creates a nice little shadow and then i'm adding the picture too um, in close-ups you can see the pictures really picture really really well and I really love the view the view is from my hotel room window and it's so cute and adorable and I could stare it for the whole weekend although I didn't stare it for the whole weekend because I had so much other things to do and see and go and walk without legs but anyway back to the layout so I added some uh, crate paper epamera uh, die cuts on the background too and cut it parts of the uh, deck out and added them too because I want to have this dark blue uh, color for this layout. It kind of frames the picture nicely and gives some contrast without using black because last time I used so much black that now I don't want to use black at all. So I'm using this scrap paper uh, to give this straight line for my title, even though I'm not that obsessed with, 
with having straight lines and straight words and things like that but it's nice to have almost straight so i'm using these letters from uh, pink fresh studio indigo hills collection and it was included to our september kits which is really nice because they are also really dark blue and i really like them they are not too thick because sometimes the alphas are really really thick and that's not nice. I really like these because they are thick enough, but not too much. So I also used some alphas from Maggie Holmes collection. And then a couple of chipboards from Big First Studio. And then again, few drops of paint and that's it. So even though this was really easy layout, it has lots of layers. And I even did some kind of drawing on top of the uh, dark blue alphas because I want to have something special with them too. Here you can see the stitched, drawing stitched thing going on. So, thank you for watching and I hope you liked this. And if you did, please leave a comment and put the thumb button and thank you for watching. We'll see you soon again. Bye!